of back of throat. Can you hear that? Right? And what is interesting is it's still living on consonants and the little vowels are squished. Vowels are very small. Whereas American vowels are very open. American is very different dialect than a lot of other dialects in that we express ourselves on our vowels. So, for example, as an American, I would say, oh my God, that's fantastic. And a British person would express themselves on the consonants and they would say, oh my God, that's fantastic. Oh my God, that's fantastic. They would never say, oh my God, that's fantastic. Whereas American, we say, oh my God, that's fantastic. Or, wow, that's wonderful, I love that. British would say, wow, that's wonderful, I love that. So they're gonna, the enthusiasm for the British, they're gonna take on the consonants, the vowels. I love that, that's fantastic. That's, that's great, that's brilliant. Can you hear that with the British, I'm not emphasizing the, the vowels, I'm emphasizing the consonants, I'm pushing forward on the consonants. Italian is like that. Italian, they express themselves on the consonants. So they are pushing on the consonants and the excitement is on the consonants. The French is the same way, you know? So they are expressing themselves on the consonants. For example, when I, I lived in France for about 16 years and when I moved there, I didn't speak the language very well. And I also didn't have a very good accent because I was using my American muscles when I spoke French. So you might not be able to understand what I'm gonna say, but I'm gonna speak French normally to you so you can hear a basic French accent in French. Donc si je parle français avec vous, uh, la résonance c'est devant dans la bouche. The resonance is in front of the mouth. You can hear that it sounds very French, right? Now I'm going to speak French with an American accent using my American muscles, placing it in my chest and expressing myself on the vowels. Bonjour, comment ça va? Je suis allé aux Champs-Élysées. J'adore les Champs-Élysées. C'était fantastique les Champs-Élysées. French person say, Je suis allé aux Champs-Élysées. C'était fantastique les Champs-Élysées. C'était super. J'ai bu du café, j'ai bu du vin. J'ai euh, mangé avec un garçon qui était très très gentil avec moi. But you hear that the French is in the front of the mouth. Et quand je parle français avec un accent américain, you can hear that I'm using my chest, you can hear that I'm using my, opening my jaw. Um, and when I first moved there, I didn't know how to use those French muscles, so I had to learn. Does that all make sense? I'm going to keep going, but does anybody have any questions up through now? Because I want to make sure you guys are, are on the ride.